What up everyone, welcome to StackBMX.com's YouTube channel. I'm Ken Sapale. Today, I'm gonna do and explain a review on the Hurley Mini Swell electric e-bike. So, I'm gonna tell you the differences between this bike and what sets it apart from a lot of the other bikes to does this bike fit you. Okay, let's go get to it. Let's start from the front and work our way to the back. So starting off on this bike, it's obviously an e-bike. Um, when you th move and you hit the throttle, it accelerates or a pedal assist. Hang tight, because later on in the video, I'll tell you what the two differences are and how they work and everything that you're kind of getting. So starting off on the front, uh, what I noticed is that these, these bikes come with the BMX style handlebar. This gives me super hype because if I'm a BMXer, and having a BMX stem on here just gives me ideas where I could put a different style stem on here, kind of trick it out for myself, um, put some other BMX bars on here, maybe four piece bars, something like that. But I think that's pretty cool straight off the bat because they're a, a high tensile steel bar on here. They sit up a little bit upright, makes the bike look cool. They got a heavy duty stem on here. Uh, these bikes just look like you can jump and kind of romp a little bit more. So having a, a heavy duty stem on here is a big, big plus. So they definitely hit the, the nail on the head right here. And I can vouch from that because I've actually jumped this thing a little bit um, and the bars didn't slip or anything like that. And I felt totally safe. So I think that's cool off the bat. Uh, they do have ergonomic uh, grips on here, which I noticed uh, next thing up is they got a twist throttle right here. So this is where you actually twist it and accelerate or slow down or unaccelerate. You want to call it? Uh, next thing I noticed is that it's got a six-speed uh, shifting mechanism up here, which is a, the derailleur. The derailleur is in the back. Uh, the shifter is in the front. This is SIS uh, index shifter. So push it, shifts back down. Um, it's got pretty pretty strong brake brakes on here. I noticed it has disc brakes front and back, so it's got a lot of stopping power. I noticed the lever is really, really long, so it actually helps you stop. Um, I haven't really panicked going really fast on it and stopping, so that's a good big plus. Uh, also, the lever has this pretty cool grip where it's like a rubber side grip on here, and it uh, makes it super comfortable. Uh, fully adjustable right here. Uh, another thing is that these brakes here, front and back, whenever you hit the brake, what it does is it, it cuts the power to the actual motor, so it stops taking off once you hit the brake. So that's, that's a safety feature, that's kind of cool. Um, another thing I noticed is that this thing comes with a triple crown fork. There's a lot of other fat tire bikes that are really similar to this that they ha have like just a rigid fork. Uh, the rigid fork makes it a lot rougher ride and stuff like that. So definitely, definitely check this one out. Um, on this one here, uh, what's going on? It also got a headlight. So if you want to use a headlight, it's also got a headlight. Uh, that's pretty cool that it comes with one. Uh, on the tire size, these, these things come in the 20 inch by 4.0 wide tires. These tires are really wide, they grip really good. Uh, they got a lot of meat on them, but also have a lot of space on them, so they're not super heavy. Uh, definitely definitely been pretty cool on, on the rides that we've gone on it. Um, this thing comes with stainless steel spokes, a super wide alloy rim, alloy hub, unsealed front hub, but it's got a quick release front hub front hub so you can pull the wheel off if you get a flat or anything like that then we're going into the frame uh, this thing is a high tensile steel frame uh, from looking at it most of the welds look really good I don't see any bubble gumming any clumping or anything like that on the weld so everything looks really, really nice one thing that I didn't notice on this paint job is that when you take it out in the Sun it actually has like a multicolored metallic in it so it looks black but it's got a bunch of sparkles in it. it. Looks pretty dope. Very subtle, but but definitely sets it apart from some of the other black bikes. Uh, next thing up is the actual battery set right here. So this thing's removable with a key on one side. You could replace the batteries, add a different battery, carry a couple batteries if you want to go for longer rides. So extra battery kit right here. Uh, pretty simple to remove and, and take off. Just simply turn the key, slide up, comes right off. Uh, next thing is the long saddle. This saddle is cool because let's say you go to camping, something like that, you want to tote some people around, you can simply throw them on the front. Little guys throw them on the front, throw a chick on the front, you can have some, your lady ride on the back. Whatever you want to do, there's enough room for two people to sit and the bicycles will still move 
adequately fast. Um, next thing up is the cranks. I know this has a single ring in the front, uh, just your standard alloy cranks. I don't see using them too much, but if you do end up using too much, you might think about upgrading your cranks. But these are pretty standard. Like I said, we've jumped it a little bit and uh, haven't really beat it up or anything like that. So I think they're, they're pretty good quality cranks and I think they'll be totally fine with you. They got an alloy platform pedal, a lot wider pedal right here. So definitely help you on gripping. Uh, it's got a pretty basic KMC chain down to the, the derailleur has a turning. Uh, this is a what's, Yeah, six speed, six speed on the rear. Uh, internal, internal gear on the back. Uh, I mean, an uh, internal motor in, in the actual hub on the rear. So it's actually being driven by the motor in the rear, not uh, where it's friction driven, running on the tire or anything like that. Um, it's also got a rear uh, a rear light, so if you're riding at night, it's got a it's got a brake light as well. So um, besides that, uh, for my riding this bike, I think for the price, it is an absolutely amazing ride. I am thinking about keeping this for ourselves so we can just go ride around and have fun. But um, yeah, if you want to know how fast these things go, they go about 20 miles an hour is what I've seen. If there's a slight incline um, and you're going uphill, you might get about 17. If there's a steep, steep uphill, you're gonna have to pedal, but it's pedal assisted. So you'll start flying up that hill, no problem. Uh, on a whole charge, what I've seen full throttle uh, from our team guys riding in, you know, I mean, downtown LA, from us riding around here, uh, for one full charge, you get about two to three hours of actual ride time. Might be more or less depending on what hills you go on, but for the stuff that we went on, we went very, very far. I think we might have clocked about 30 miles, no problem, with the full charge of battery. Um, and that's with the with the full grown adult and riding their, their kid, another, uh, like a four year old on front of it, while pushing another uh, 10 year, or I think he's nine years old, nine year old, riding another bike who was pushing him around as well. So, um, yeah, definitely held up for anybody that's trying to ride and have a good time. This is the style of bicycle that you want. If you're wondering, hey, does this bike fit you? These smaller 20 inch bikes with the fat tire bikes are really fun because you don't have to be tall. They got a fat seat, very easy to get on, on top of, easy to ride, easy to handle, real stable, uh, doesn't feel sketchy or anything like that. So if you're getting scared to buy an e-bike because they go so fast, try one of these smaller fat tire bikes. I guarantee you'll love it. If you're afraid of getting into e-bikes, uh, put it this way, this is not what you're trying to do completely, but it's completely different than what you think. And what that said is that these are a go have fun bike, but it allows your trip to go even farther. So if you can only pedal your pedal bike 20 miles, this can add another 20 miles to your trip to allow you to go to 40 miles and so on and so on. So this is a, extend your fun type of bike go out have fun take it for camping something that you're on vacation you're not trying to get a workout with your buddies you're just going out there having fun with the family and just ripping up the jump to the trails and that's where you can really show off your moves instead of to all your mountain bike buddies or your riding buddies and stuff like that guaranteed they would appreciate that a lot more seeing you jump and do some cool stuff maybe some wheelies on it or just have some fun so these are fun bikes go out and have some fun buy one from stackbmx.com we'll see you later